Hello and welcome to Unit 5. In the previous unit, we learned about the metric equation. The metric equation expresses the space-time interval, delta s, in terms of uh, delta x and delta t, time interval and a space interval, in a particular reference frame. The space-time interval is this special quantity. It's like distance. It's something that um, observers in different reference frames will agree on, even if their coordinate values are not the same. So recall that the space-time interval is the time interval between two events measured by an inertial clock that's present at both events. So inertial here means that the clock is moving at a constant velocity from event A to event B. It's the um, equivalent or analog of the distance between two points in space. The distance between two points in space is the length of a straight line connecting them. The space-time interval between two events in space-time is the time as measured by a straight line inertial clock connecting those two events. So that was unit four. In this unit, we'll look at proper time. So proper time is a more general type of time the space-time interval is a proper time, but there are many other proper times, too. The proper time between two events is, um, or a proper time between two events, I should say, because a proper time is not unique. A proper time between two events would be the time as measured on a clock present at both events, but not necessarily an inertial one. The clock could um, follow a twisty path to get to the other event, or maybe it goes at a straight line, but it accelerates. So those are proper times. And we're going to be looking for how to think about proper time and how it's related to the space-time interval. Our starting point for that will be to think about um, curved paths in space. So what if, um, instead of going from point A to B in a straight line, we wanted to go into a in a curve? How would we calculate the length of that curve? So that's how we'll get started in this unit. Let me just say a little bit more about what's to come in this unit. Um, there's a lot of um, fun, interesting, and diverse stuff. So we'll start, as I said, by thinking about lengths along curved paths and then curved paths in space-time. And that's going to appear um, a little bit mathematical at first. So I'm going to use a little bit of calculus language as we traverse through that. If you've seen calculus before, I think you'll find it a fun and sort of different take on how to think about calculus. And if you haven't seen calculus, totally fine, don't worry. Um, the end result is not going to be one that you need to know calculus for. And along the journey, you'll get a sense of what calculus is all about and why it's cool and interesting. Um, so then we'll move, uh, we'll get an interesting result for a proper time. We'll work through some examples, including another one that has experimental implications. And we'll end the unit by talking about the famous twin paradox in special relativity. So lots of good stuff to come. Let's get started.